I've struggled with this my whole life. Just made me so insecure. It's life changing. Thank you, Dr. Leibowitz. Good afternoon, Dr. Leibowitz, Long Island Gynecomastia Center. So this is the second case of the day in uh, uh, mid-January, cold. So this young man, we did him uh, six months ago. Six months ago, we did Vaser High Definition uh, Power X Liposculpture with gynecomastia gland removal. Let's show you now his pre-ops of June of 2017. So now the pre-op, this is the front view, and these are the side views going on right now. So front view and then the side views. You see how much mass he had there and how much stuff he had there um, and, and uh, compared to now. Now stand up straight. So he's got a great definition, lift up here. That's, that's his serratus anterior muscles here. Uh, he's got no glands. He's got a great shape there. He even has a, a freaking six pack. He looks amazing. He lost, uh, I don't know, 80 pounds, 70 pounds, 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. So he's got a little looseness here that we may fix up, but look at these six packs. That's amazing. But what we need to do, and I don't do the nipple lift anymore at the same time because they just don't look great. But I warned him and I told him that we initially did it, that you may, you will, you may, you might, you may, you should get a nipple lift. And this is what we're gonna do today. So um, I'm gonna make the nipple smaller. They're, they're kind of too big. They're like Buick headlights. And they're just too big and too massive. And I'm gonna make them small because they are gonna sh stretch out anyway. So they're a little over four centimeters. I'm gonna make them a little over two centimeters, lift them to a much better position. Um, scar will only be around the nipple, and, uh, and it's going to get rid of some of this uh, hanging skin too to really make them amazing and lifted and to the perfect uh, location. Uh, we're not going to do any lipo because he doesn't need it, but I'll throw that in, uh, you know, no charge um, in a couple of months if he wants a little bit here, and I can even do this a little bit for him uh, for that, but he's going to look amazing if he wants to, you know, do a little bit more light or whatever if he needs it or wants it. So uh, all under local anesthesia, I'm going to uh, mark them in a few minutes and off to the OR we go. So now I've marked them, okay? Don't look at me, look at him. <laughs> they do that, I like that. So um, I've got certain markings. This cross mark right there is where the new nipples are. It's a special thing. It's 21 centimeters from the su supersternal notch at the median of the breast itself. Mm -hmm. That's where I have. So I'm gonna do uh, an excision around and lift this nipple up into that area and close the skin around it. Um, and the scar will only be just around the nipple itself. If I do need to do a little dart of skin, if I feel that that n needs to be done, it's kind of cut on the, on, on the go type of a thing, where if I need to do a little vertical, like a lollipop incision, we can. I really don't want to do that and see if I can avoid that whatsoever. And uh, I probably will be able to uh, on that. So I'm going to um, numb them in a second and then uh, get them into the OR. We pump you up. Pump you up. Not as much though. Let's pump you up. What are you doing? What's your last one? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>
the, so I'm I'm deepithelization, deepithelization because I want to ma maintain volume. I do not want to. Um, I want to maintain volume on his chest, so I'm just actually skinning, skinning the skin of the, the skin of the cat. So I want to maintain as much volume as I can up on top. This is why you don't want to do lipo because if I'm underneath this, I'm going to thin this out too much, and it's just not. You're gonna have trouble. I did one or two nipple lifts at the same time and I just didn't like them, like the results. So now I kind of do them separately. Well, there's two, there, there's the epidermis and there's two dermises. There's the reticular and the papillary. And the way I remember it, what comes first, R or P? P. P, so the papillary dermis is on top of the reticular dermis. So the epidermis, then the papillary dermis, and then the ridiculous burnt, reticular. That's there, so we're just gonna clean. So it's gonna keep on going. Okay. It's called purse stringing this closed. And a little bit of bumps and lumps from the purse string, those go away. Those flatten out nicely. So what, what this does is I, I did the interrupted. Now these little undulations, these little purse strings, I call them a purse string because that's what they look, that's what it's called. These all smoothen out nicely. And um, so what this does, it just fine tunes it, you know, just I'm gonna go uh, very close to each other and just kind of, as you see that, even that, that out. So I see where it is, I can go up, kind of scoot in by the nipple side and do that, like that, that does that. Then I wanna get that up there, so we get a little bit of this. And that does nice. I got this little thing to deal with. So I go up back a little bit. Then 
and I'll grab a little of, of this. Just a little bit. Can you feel any of that? No, no. absolutely not. No, it's numb. And that'll bring that in there. Then I gotta cheat, cheat on the inside because there's there's less surface area on the inside than on the outside. Mm -hmm. So I gotta cheat. Like cheating on a test. This is more circ circumferential on the outside than on the inside. See that? That looks better mm -hmm. already. So, Dr. Leibowitz, Long Island Gynecomastia Center. So, again, on this gentleman, uh, I did vaso lipo. I think it was long ago, it was only six months ago. Here's his pre op from in June, right now, front sides. And this is the pre op from today, front and sides. Looks amazing, but I agree with him. He called me up, uh, I don't know, a month ago, or more than a month ago, says, Doc, I want a little bit of a lift. I warned him about the scars around there. He goes, absolutely no problem. Let's just do it. And I trust you that the scars are gonna be great. Um, so here's the end result. I just put some cream. You saw me, you know, cutting the skin, lifting the, uh, um, lifting the nipple up. Here's the skin on one side and the skin on the other side. That like this, something like that. Cool. Now, what I want you to do, very important, is get in here and just listen, lift it up. You know what I mean? And you swallow it, you're gonna, this will be less, less big, um, you know, tomorrow. <laughs>